Hi guys, welcome to Haywire Homestead. I'm Jennifer and uh, we live on a small five acre farm out in Southwest Ohio, close to Cincinnati. Today we are dealing with blight, blight on my tomatoes. If you've watched any of our videos recently, you've seen that uh, we've had a ton of rain. And um, unfortunately yesterday as I came out after we got another, oh, we've gotten about three and a half, four inches of rain in this past week. Uh, hopefully they're saying now we're gonna dry out thank goodness but um, I went out yesterday really had a hard time getting in the garden because it's so stinking muddy but um, my tomatoes are starting to get blight on them so I'm gonna show you how I mix up a blight spray to prevent it but the other thing I'm gonna have to do is go in and actually cut and remove the diseased areas of the plant um, I'll cut those off trim those off put them in a bucket and then I will actually dispose of them in the trash I do not put those back in my compost because I don't want that going into my soil as my compost breaks down and then spread that back onto my garden. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my supplies ready and take you with me, hang on. Okay, so if you look here, you see the yellowing of the leaves and the little spots, that's blight. So it's actually, it just had so much moisture and it'll kill your plants. We've got some lovely tomatoes coming on here and I wanna make sure I can keep my tomatoes healthy as possible. So I'm gonna go through and I'm just, anyone that has anything on it, I'm gonna snip it. It's not gonna hurt it because I prune them anyways. Um, I don't think I've ever done a pruning video, but maybe I should do that next, huh? And any, any of them that have any disease on them, I'm just gonna get those out of there. And this is just from the excess moisture. So I'm gonna go on down the line and do these and then I'll show you how I mix up the blight spray. Okay, while I'm out here, since I'm showing you about the blight, I might as well show you a little bit about pruning. So the big thing that I wanna focus on is any lower leaves. I don't want any leaves touching anything down where it's gonna make contact with the soil. Um, also kind of gets it so it's not so crowded down here um, so their air flows so we prevent mold or any funguses growing now this one was what we call a sucker um, that I didn't catch because it was raining um, and it's so big I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it and let it go but typically the suckers will come out like this one here see this one this one comes out between a leaf and the stalk here so Here's the, the leaf branch and there's the main stalk and then this little sucker here and all I got to do is pinch that off. Now if they're a little bit bigger you can use your scissors to trim them and you want to try to get most of those. There's another one here. You want to try to get most of those, most of those um, because they'll make another branch and while that makes your, your tomato plant nice and big and lovely it takes more energy away from it producing the fruit. So um, I trim out they don't have to be big bushy beautiful tomato plants I've had big bushy beautiful tomato plants and they didn't hardly grow anything because they put so much energy into growing the plant itself that they weren't putting energy into growing the fruit for me so all right I'm gonna show you what I do for my blight spray and you just get one of the little small I think it's a one and a half gallon sprayer you can get these at Lowe's of course I mark mine individually I have one that's my blight spray and then I have another one that I use um, that has a neem oil mixture for whenever I have pests. So in this, you're gonna mix up about three to four tablespoons of baking soda, a couple of drops of Dawn, or you could use Castile soap or something like that as well, um, a few drops just, and then you're gonna use one to two tablespoons of oil. You can use vegetable oil. Um, I don't even keep it vegetable in the house, so, I use olive oil, you mix these up, shake it really well, and you'll wanna shake it occasionally as you're applying it. Now, when you apply a blight spray, you wanna do it in the evening, um, as the sun's going down. You don't wanna do it in the heat of the day, and I don't do it first thing in the morning either because the dew is still on. So this evening, I will be applying this um, to the tomatoes. 